Holy cannoli, I'm a cowgirl and I'm trapped in a box. Good thing I'm here with my friend Steve and Slicer. Looks like me and my box pals are heading down the highway in this moving truck. Heading off to our new home. How exciting. Hey, why are we pulling over? Are we picking up that golden pig? I don't know if it's a good idea to pick up hitchhikers, even if they are pigs and... <gasps> Uh-oh. box just fell on the road. I'm sure that's not the box I'm in, though. Is it? Okay, let's evaluate the situation. Is this a disaster or a temporary setback? Okay, no, we're on the road. Steve says, we fell out in the middle of the road. Excellent observation, Steve. We have to get to safety at the sidewalk. Yeah, true, I don't want to hang around here and just wait to get squashed like a cowgirl pancake. I gotta chase down that moving truck. I don't even know where the new house is. And if I can't find the new house, then how am I ever gonna be reunited with Hannah, my human? She's gonna be devastated when they open up the truck and she realizes that I'm gone. I mean, imagine how you would feel if your favorite toy went missing when you were moving house. Actually, maybe just don't imagine it. It's too sad, too sad to contemplate. But if you want to send me some support on my mission to get home to Hannah, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Am I supposed to hit the piggy bank? Probably a good thing to collect as many gold coins as I can, just in case we need to take like a taxi or something. Or we don't know how long this journey's gonna take. We might require snackies. Steve says, you guys made it. Yeah, that's right. Easy peasy. But what's our next move? How are we supposed to find that truck? Steve says, we have to follow that truck. Good point, Steve. Good point. But it's moving so fast and it looks like every single other truck. How are we supposed to know which Steve? You got an idea there, bud? Or, oh my gosh, Steve's falling. Ah, says Steve as he falls into the sidewalk. My brand new white unicorn coloring book is now available on Amazon. Follow the link in the description. Did you have to pick this moment to plunge into the unknown? JD Cryon says, we have to go help him. Yeah, true. It wouldn't be very nice if we just abandoned him here. So I guess we're in the sewers now. Steve, are you all right? Are you injured? JD Cryon says, you took quite the fall there. Good thing he's made of plastic. Steve says, thankfully we are made to be roughed up. Yeah, that's true. We're very tough. That's probably one of the reasons why we're gonna get through this alive. I'm like, guys, where are we? Steve says, uh, I think we ended up in the sewers. Yeah, that's a good guess because this place is full of sewage. So if it's not the sewers, that's a problem. JD Cryon says, this place gives me the creeps. Steve says, let's find our way out then, and hopefully we can catch that van. Oh no, the van. Every minute that passes is another minute that the van is getting further and further away from us. I don't want Hannah to have to spend her first night in a new house without me. Steve says, I don't know which way leads us out. Yeah, that is a problem. I reckon we should go left though. I've got a good feeling about left. I trust you guys, says Steve. To the left we go. I don't know if it's about trust, Steve. We're all working from zero information here. I'm just going off the vibes. Speaking of, I'm wondering what kind of vibe you're getting from this sewer. Like, does this seem like the kind of sewer where we're going to encounter monsters or crocodiles? I feel like it's gonna be one or the other, so I want everyone to cast their vote in the comment section. Use an emoji and cast your vote. This is very official. Steve says, how are we supposed to get across? So the first thing we need to do is fell a tree, and then we'll begin carving the hull of the ship and, oh, okay, just kidding. Impeccably timed industrial stepping stones. We'd love to see it. Steve says, looks safe to me. See y'all on the other side. Be sure to help somebody if they fall. I don't mean to be overly suspicious, but are we like at all worried about the fact that all of this just sprung up at the exact moment that we needed it? That seems a little bit weird, doesn't it? What if somebody was listening to our conversation? What if they're watching us right now? What if it's the Alligator King? If I don't make it to the new house in time for Hannah's bedtime because I have been held up by the Alligator King, I am gonna be so cranky. Heed my warning, Alligator King. No one wants to see me in a cranky, cranky mood. Steve says, great work, guys. I knew you'd make it. Loving the positive attitude, Steve. I'm like, didn't even break a sweat. Oh my gosh, a little bit of attitude for me. I don't hate it. Oh, my friend says, that's because we can't sweat. I was talking metaphorically, okay? Steve says, never mind that. I think I see a ladder ahead. Yeah, a ladder seems like a good idea. Get out of this sewer before the alligator king arrives. Oh, so there's actually not gonna be an alligator king. Interesting. Controversial. Steve says, let's get out of here. Okay, good idea. Let's start climbing. Up goes Steve, but then what's above? Oh, maybe just the surface. Oh, just the surface. All good. I thought something horrible was gonna happen, but it's all chill apparently. Steve says, boy, does it feel good to be out of there. Honestly, as far as Roblox games go, that was a pretty quick trip to the sewer. Roblox for me says, true, but we don't even know where we are. Yes, 
we do? We're at the arcade. And look, they're serving fun and smiles daily. That is my absolute favorite thing to have for lunch. But wait, a pan. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's the truck. It's the moving truck. We have to get on. Hannah, Hannah, can you hear me? Steve says, the van. Follow it, says Roblox for me. Okay, but we're so slow. Oh my gosh, it's so fast. Stop, says Steve. Don't move. What? Why? Oh. Why, why are we waiting for this guy? Uh-oh. Something weird's happening. Arcade worker says, Huh? What are these toys doing out here? Careful who you're calling a toy, but I'm a small but sentient cowgirl. I better get them inside. No, why would you take us inside? What? Okay, you put us in the claw. Oh, this is bad. This is very, very bad. Everybody knows it's almost impossible to win a game of the claw. We could be trapped in here forever. Steve says, great. Now we miss the van. I'm like, forget about the van. We are trapped. Yeah, this is a glass prison. I don't know how we're going to get out of here. Roblox for me says, guys, there's another toy in here. Oh my gosh, it's an alien. The alien says, we all decided to pack our favorite baseball bats. Otherwise, I would just be like slapping at the claw with my bare hands, which I would do, but... Oh no! Someone just got taken up by the claw! JD Cryon, go! Now it's personal. This is a disaster! Hannah love JD Cryon! It's just up to me, Steve, and Slicer now. Well, I'm busy defeating the claw. If you are completely hooked on this journey, then maybe you want to subscribe to my channel, which would also make me feel very happy because I am trying to get to my next subscriber milestone. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, then thank you. You are what keeps me going in these trying times when I am trapped in a glass prison and I need to defeat a claw, which actually happens surprisingly often. I guess you hang out on Roblox long enough, you're gonna get yourself into some pretty weird situations, but oh my gosh, I think we did it! Nice job, guys, says Steve. Yeah, well done. That was a close one. I mean, it wasn't just a close one, we did actually lose JD Cryon. Roblox for me says, we still need to find a way out. Yeah, that's true. How do we get out of here? We can open up this hatch now that the machine is down. Okay, that is a huge relief because every moment that passes, Hannah is getting further and further away. Let's get out of here. Don't let the arcade worker see us. He will think that he is going crazy. We have to be careful, everybody. We don't want to go through all that trouble just to get spotted again. Okay, I think it's already happened. My prizes, says Ned. Oh boy, I cannot wait to take these home. You did not win these prizes. First of all, I am not a prize to be won for the last time. I am a sentient cowgirl. And okay, we are in someone's bedroom. Steve says, I feel bad for any toys that belong to that kid. Roblox for me says, um, we are going to belong to that kid if we can't find a way out of here. Wait, why do we feel sorry for the toys belonging to this kid? Roblox for me says, think guys, think. Uh oh, who's this? Think this, think that, says Robot Mech. What do you think you're doing in my territory? Oh, misunderstanding. We don't want to be here. The kid that lives here stole us from the arcade. He didn't even win us in the claw. That kid only plays with me, says Robot Mech. I will turn you into spare parts. Truly unnecessary. We would love to leave. And oh, no, a battle has already begun. Okay, defeat Robot Mech. Got it. I will, will hit you with my little bat. Oh, he's very scary, though. He's got pretty muscly arms for a robot and a set of laser eyes, which is not great. But there are more of us. So, uh oh, watch out for that. Ooh, that's new. Flame spinning. Robot mech, you've put us in a very uncomfortable position. We don't want to have to do this, you see. I don't want to play with Ned. I want to play with Hannah. 
Like, no offense to Ned, I'm sure Ned is very cool and all, but I'm not trying to cut your grass. I would be very happy to just jump out a window and not have to fight you, but it kind of feels like you're not going to allow that to be an option, so it's going to have to be a destroy from me. Steve says, we did him a favor. Did we? I just, I don't know that that's true. Roblox for me says, Steve, look! Uh-oh, what are we looking at? A way out, says Steve. Good find. Why is the light bulb moving though? Uh-oh, the door. Oh good, the return of Ned. Ned says, bye mom, but I'm gonna play with my new toys right after. Okay, that's not good. The window of opportunity is closing. We have to hurry. I don't wanna be stuck here with Ned. I gotta jump out this window. I gotta find my girl, Hannah. 25 seconds, I don't need all that. I'm gonna yeet myself straight out the window. I'm already outside. This is bad though. We still have no idea where the truck is. We have no idea where Hannah is. Oh, Steve. Are you being careful? Are you looking both ways before you cross the street and- Oh no! Oh, this isn't good. An obstacle. Run! Run, says Steve. Do we really think that we can outrun the dog? I don't know if this is a good idea. We're not especially fast. I just feel like we'd be better off trying to make friends with the dog. Like, does anyone have any sort of treat we can offer him? Like, a, I don't know, like a bit of cheese or, or maybe a bit of peanut butter. Some of them dogs like. Okay, everyone's gonna have to run a lot faster unless they're fixing to get eaten. Because I'm telling you right now, my friends, you are in the danger zone, and this is something that I simply cannot do for you. I cannot make your legs move any faster. If I come back and try to help you, we're both just gonna get eaten by that dog. And that's just not something that I'm going to allow to happen, okay? I have a Hannah to get back to. Oh, I feel like maybe someone's been eaten. I'm only seeing one other person back there. Who got eaten? Was it Steve or Slicer? Come on, pump those little legs. You can do it. Oh, it's Slicer. Oh, RIP Steve. Oh, no, wait. False alarm. I see someone else running. I think it might be Steve. Come on, Steve. You can do it. I'm so sorry that I thought you got eaten. It's not a great vote of confidence. Are we worried that the dog is still running towards us? Or is there like an invisible fence there or something? Oh, yep. Invisible fence for the win. Hey, what's everybody looking at? And oh my gosh, it's our van. What are the chances? We ended up on Hannah's new street. This is unbelievable. It's fate. I'm going to be reunited with my girl. What do we do now? Roblox for me says the van. Yeah, we, we noticed. Let's go around the back before they see. Yeah, good idea. We could just crawl into another box and they'll probably never even notice. Packing's so chaotic, you know. We just have to get back in place before Hannah notices it. Okay, there's somebody on the back of the van. Do we, do we know this person? Uh, Steve, just gonna defer to you here because it seems like you know the most about what's going on in, oh, slow zoom. <gasps> Who is it? Soldiers, you found your way back to base. Yes, sir, we have, sir. Apologies for our absence, sir. It's time for a rescue mission. I don't want to nitpick, but maybe the time for a rescue mission was hours ago when we first went missing, but wait, Steve says, there's something I need to say. What do you mean, now? Steve, we're so close. This past day has made me realize something, says Steve. Uh-oh, Steve's getting all philosophical. Roblox for me says, all right, what is it, Steve? Exploring the outside world is where I belong. Oop, army man's not gonna like that. He says, we have a mission in this house to make this boy happy. Okay, army man, don't be calling Hannah a boy. She doesn't like that. Steve's like, it's time I started thinking about myself. Wow, so this is goodbye, Steve. This was our last adventure together. Steve says, well, you guys can come with me. It's your choice. It's barely a choice. Sorry, Steve. We as toys have to make this kid's childhood. Yeah, that's like our whole purpose in life. Steve says, I understand. May we meet again. Maybe one day, Steve. Maybe one day. We don't have much time, says Army Man. Move, move, move. Okay, I'm sufficiently motivated. You don't have to yell. Okay, climbing up into the van. And then I guess we'll just hop in like any box. Oh, wait, thanks for everything, Steve, says Roblox for me. Good luck out there. Hey, look, it's the family, and oh my gosh, who's that? Alex? Mom, they're still here, says someone named Alex. Mom's like, it is crazy they didn't fall out with that box. Now what's crazy is you've somehow erased the memory of Hannah and replaced them with someone named Alex. I'm scared.